Hey guys, I'm Diego Porris and today I will talk about when you are in class or social and your partner show no interest to dance with you. That kind of attitude affects your confidence and get you less inspired, less creative, less focused and definitely decrease the quality of your dancing. But then, how to deal with this? I remember when Jessica, my partner, went to USA for her first dance event. We were not dancers at that time and we have our great idols that we watch it on YouTube. And of course, when we got there, we wanted to dance with them. So she invited one of our favorites to dance. Yeah. And he danced with all the technique he had, but with zero, no interaction, no visual connection, no feeling, talking to other people, totally disinterested. I'm never gonna dance again. willing to dance. When it was over, it was a frustrated dream for her. She was really sad and told me it was awful. And I was a novice at that time. But I said, I always told you, I'm better than him. <laughs> I'm not here to criticize his attitude. If you dance or not to please someone, is a subject I will focus later on. We are here to talk about Jessica's attitude, to talk about your attitude. What should you do when something like this happens to you? Well, we can't control other people's attitude. We can influence them, but not control. But there is one thing that we can control, is how we feel towards other people's attitude. How we will let them affect or not affect the quality of our dance, the quality of our lives. Some time ago, a student of mine came after me, asked what should he do about certain lady that every time they dance together in classes, she looked discontent. She looked like she didn't enjoy dance with him and wasn't happy in that moment. By doing this, she make him feel really bad and therefore lose the interest of dancing not only with her but with <laughs> not only with her but with everyone and what should you do when something like this happens to you your first step before anything else is remember the real reason why you're there why are you there. Why are you having that class or going to that social? I asked that to my student and he said he had come to my workshop because he really wants to know us better in our class style, wanted to learn new moves, to understand better my dance technique. Many of his friends was that too and he felt motivated to go. He really wants to enjoy the socials and workshops of that weekend. He gave me many other similar reasons and none of them mentioned it. Oh, I can because I want to see every woman look happy when dance with me. It's obvious that he or any person in the world feels great when his father is enjoying that moment sharing with you. But that is not the point here. The point is which should be your mental attitude when that does not happen. And that is the most important thing to focus. The reason for you being there, your goal. Imagine yourself as a father who just told his son to study. His son got really mad, cried, but 
in their app study. The father's goal was accomplished. Of course it was. He wanted his son to study at that moment. Not that his son studied smiling and thanking his father for making him do it his homework when he wanted to hang with his friends. Think about your goal. If your goal is being accomplished, it's okay. You are achieving what you want to. Don't let anyone interfere negatively in your state of mind and spirit. That's fundamental for your continuous development as a dancer. If your pleasure at dancing and learning is being negatively affected by any external problem, you will be the great injured and you're the one to blame, not the other person. If you have already watched the video, which I talk about taking responsibility, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, visit our channel or We've been some place. The link of this video will be here. So, go there. So, don't talk to me saying, but so and so did this, so and so did that. I don't care about what they do. What I do care about is how you deal with that. So, that's step one. Come on! Don't get shaken. Focus on your goal. If you already have a strong mental attitude to do that and that's a must it's a favor you do yourself i don't give you a choice about that you have to learn it for dealing with situations inside and outside to the dance floor so that's the basics if you already okay with that step i have a bigger challenge for you that will make you show why you are a fantastic dancer you know that thing still wordesses say in every flight. In case of depressurization, put your mask on and only then help the person by your side. <laughs> now that you are breathing safely, that you don't have any trouble, it's time to help the person by your side. You can even get mad at him firstly. But stop and think. You don't know what's really troubling that person. She's probably isn't like that only with you and only when dancing. She may have a thousand. <laughs> she may have a thousand reasons for being like that. Too tired, in pain, broke up with her boyfriend or his girlfriend, was fired. Who knows? But if she's there with you, she expected something from that dance and you are the dance the song is the same for everyone in the class or in the social the dance moving being taught is probably the same one for everybody in that class but the people they are all different and to help that person in particular you are going to do the simplest thing in the world and yet a very rare I just need you to look at him. Search something that you like about him. Future, posture, time, clothes, anything. And tell him, let your partner know that. That simple gesture will take your partner from wherever he is and bring back to the dance world. Be honest when complimenting and make the difference in someone's life. Compliment a move, compliment a little smile, thanking him for the initial mistake. Be kind. P.S. Soon I will be providing another video talking about the technique of searching qualities. And if you search for something, you will find much more. And this will be good for you, this will be good for your partner. So do this now. Deal? So first, Put the mask on, re-establish yourself and make sure you are okay. And then don't forget to help someone. That's teamwork, that's dancing and that is your new step. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's over. I don't want to say more, anything. Not important. Yeah, you, you can go.
Seriously. Seems. 